All right, lesson two, power steering system. Um, fundamental of the power steering system. Steering system is born off the highway construction. Equipment of the vehicle is different. Hold the chair together the large and heavy the operative, but off the uneven ground with the power steering is reduced for the effort required with the turn of the steering wheel. They must know with the power of the steering with a different kind of the construction equipment. You must know if they have diagnosed the malfunction of these systems are prepared in place. View the steering system on in the automobile to help them understand with the more complicated system of the construction equipment because of the many of the basic works of the same. Automobile steering shift the steering system well in the automobile tool of the right left the attached for the end of the steering shaft, figure thirty five of the worm gear, bottom of the shaft, rotate the steering wheel, turn for the worm gear in section in section of the gear figure thirty two which is partial the gear with the pivot slightly to the right. Right and left of the center of the however the section gear if it cannot turn with the worm gear lower extension for the section gear is the steering arm pitman arm of the figure 37 the steering arm is connected to one of the two of the front wheels move with the steering wheel to turn the two front wheels are attached to the single axle with the pivot pin with the kingpin 38 with the pivot pin acts as a hinge allowing each of the wheels to move from side to side figure 31 five shows the steering column on the worm gear figure 36 shows the section gear figure 37 shows the steering arm and the pitman arm figure 38 shows the pivot pin and the steering control air arm connected to one wheel figure 39 acts as a lever to hand Handle the control of the wheel, move the turn of the wheel with the rod drag link. Whenever the control arm leaves the back of the steering arm, the steering arm pushes for the pulls of the drag link and the turning of the wheel. Figure 39 shows the steering control arm. Figure 40 shows the drag link. Because of the steering mechanism, the takes with only one wheel, the wheels made, but the move together to accomplish connect with the take of the rod, the track rod, the extension of the control arm. Figure 41 with the tie rod force of the wheel to operate with the, uh, together, even though they have one turn of the steering wheel, while the one truck with the curb of the stone of the worm gear arranged with the help to keep the steering wheel from being jerked out of the driver's hand. Construct for the equipment steering system while the main Basic three parts of the steering system of the automobiles and construction equipment are the same. The difference is 42 for the example. The track shows such as the JD410 um, from the front wheel of the turn like an automobile, but sometimes the loaders rear wheels are turned. Three axle scrape of the turn on with the traction with the front wheels turn. Articulated steering system, some construction equipment that pivoted with the middle of the two axle design. You the sum of the scrape of the wheel deals with the compact of the wheel loader. The figure 42 showed several conditions for the steering system on the engineering construction system. Equipment and steering elite, large engineering construction equipment is more difficult to steering with the automobile because of their larger tires larger area of ground contact rate of the ground is and also the maintenance machine off and operate softly and muddy ground with the manual steering would require too much effort that would cause loose lasting effort by even the higher gear ratios but the would be impractical because the steering would be too slow so much a resort to the power steering figure 41 show the tie rod um, figure 42 show the steering system the construction equipment the brown um, road grinder to the wheel seal three axle scraper the front, um, front wheel steer uh, the rear wheel steer loader and and the articulated st um, steered scraper and the off highway track two wheel steer articulated steering um, front loader. Power system reduced for the effort of the required for the steering wheel led to the equipment operated with manu maneuver the vehicle easily precisely with the hydraulic cylinders attached to the control and equipment with the hydraulic fluid oil the cylinders can move with the of the wheels. For example, the position of the move to the left of the wheels or to the left of the figure 43. The question is how do we control the flow of the hydraulic oil the steel and steel steering cylinders? We want to leave the wheel to turn only fast and as far over the steering wheel turn to the hydraulic steering, steering control of the two axle scrape the figure 44 consider the mechanical steering assembly hydraulic valve the mechanism of the hydraulic system which includes the tank of the hydraulic pump the steering cylinder of the front with the steering system reassemble the automotive, automotive steering with the figure 45 the also with the warm gear and sh shaft on the nut gear moves up and down in section gear steering on the pitman arm on the left however the hydraulic steering system on the scraper operates quite differently with the manual steering system on an automobile figure 43 will show the hydraulic, hydraulic cylinders to add with the control arms um, figure 44 show the hydraulic steering system figure 45 show the cutaway of the hydraulic steering system Typical steering system. Let's see how the theoretical steering system, figure 46, would work for the auto with, on automobile steering with the warm wor worm turns inside with the red on moving the part of the call to restrain and remember the steering wheel turns with the warm gear, moving the down with the hydraulic control valve connected to the lower end of the warm gear, spool the valve moves up and down with the steering wheel turn with the figure 47 show with the complete hydraulic system, the restrain and remember the force of the warm gear to move up and down with the hydraulic tank with the bottom of the left over the container of the oil with the hydraulic pump, the pressure delivered the control valve, the hydraulic cylinder of the right control valve moves the wheels. Figure 46 over the typical steering system. Um, figure 47 of the complete hydraulic steering system. Because of the control spools, the movement of the small with the steering wheel shift move the up and down slightly with the change of the direction of the oil flow. For example, the shaft the left of the figure 48, the oil flow from the port with the left control and left center of the spool with the around the top of the groove of the cylinder head with the steering wheel turned for the opposite direction. The spool rises in reverse of the direction of the oil flow. Figure 48 shows the control valve spool movement. When the control valve was neutral in the center position, the figure 49, the oil flow is either in the end of the cylinder, not completely black low 
overturn drain acts over the both ends of the cylinder. A typical uh, type of the system we call the opening center steering. Open center steering allows for the sum of the wheel, the deflection, the oil can flow with the valve from one end of the cylinder to the other, but the oil both ends for the quickly stop of the other further movement. If the uh, if the cylinder is completely blocked, there is no way to absorb the shock of the wheel hits for the rock and the other obstruction in the wheel. The hydraulic cylinder would receive the full impact of the blow that might be bent into the otherwise damaged. Figure 49 shows the steering control valve in the neutral position. Flexible holes carrying out the steering of the cylinder, figure 50, with the following linkage signal for the stop and then flow of the oil while the wheels turn the turn far enough to stand earlier. The front of the wheel move at the stop should match for the steering of the wheel with the turn no, t- turning no further than farther, faster than directed. Another device must for the signal turning of the wheel the control valve to stop the flow of the wheels wheels and when they are far turn far enough. Steering cylinder hoses in figure 350. Flow, follow up linkage mechanical connection between the weak, um, wheels and the steering of the shaft link for the control arm restraining the number of the figure 51 following the linkage functions of the drag link on the automobile the upper end linkage connect for the restraining member figure 51 shows the full up linkage um Hydraulic oil starts with the steering wheel turn figure 52 with the full up um, linkage for the oil flow with the wheel movement because the steering wheel movement the slightly upward to downward movement of the worm gear, worm gear reverse the stop of the oil flow steering with the shaft because of the worm gear turn with the, uh, against the station and restraint the but also with the worm gear start, screw with the restraint of the member of the valve opens all of the hydraulic cylinder to move the wheels accordingly with the wheels or follow up linkage pushes the pull pushes the restraint member the center of the spool with the push and Visible by the neutral position, action shut off the full oil of the oil steel steering cylinder. Note the turning of the st- steering wheel to the start of the oil flow with the flowing and linkage stop the oil flow will move them with the corresponding steering wheel movement. Figure 52 shows the hydraulic system. There are several types of the power steering systems, although the learning event discusses only one of the basic principles that apply to them. All the main components make up the network of the power of the steering system for the pump, the reservoir, the control box, the gearbox, the hydraulic cylinder. Pump. All powering steering is contained with the pump with the supply with the hydraulic fluid with the until the pressure component within the system. Most construction equipment is operated with the hydraulic lead pump with the supply with the hydraulic fluid to the blade pan or other components that also supply the power steering fluid. Pressure flow with the relief valves are built into the pump. These valves are li- li- limit amount of the pressure of the flow of the pump developed at each end in speed. Reservoir of the pump. Receive the oil from the reservoir. You must check the amount of the hydraulic fluid in the reservoir and add more. Necessary control valve that directs the flow of the pressurized hydraulic fluid of the power tr- location steering system of the valve actuated the steering wheel turn for the control valve mounted either to the steering with the box for the steering linkage depending on the equipment design. The gearbox is integral power of the steering system, similar to the gearbox and the manual system that being included with the power assist package. Two types of integral power steering best system gearboxes are offset and inline. The offset gearbox for the U with the reciprocating ball, the rack master with the pitman section gear of the bulb with the opposite end of the pole ball nut. The power is if they develop the power piston with the offset with the worm and the nut with the attached with the rack. The inlet design with the reciprocating ball down assembly with the power piston with the ball and that is scaled with the cylinder part with the steering wheel gear housing the power sift to produce the alternate pressure on the one side of the power piston. Figure 53 shows the components for the power steering gob box. Hydraulic cylinders is used for the semi integral integral power system. They located with the steering link with the figure 54 with the power assist. They have developed in the hydraulic cylinder through the action pressure while they held hydraulic fluid. Hydraulic cylinders have a single wall and double wall construction. A single wall cylinder has a connection with the hydraulic hose at each end. The double wall cylinder connects with the hi- two hydraulic hoses on one at each end with an integral passageway between the walls. They pressure at the other end. Same cylinder shuttle valve with the built on into the piston. The shuttle valve uh, opens for the end of the piston stroke with the show of the fluid they can throw through the piston. The action can eliminate full hydraulic pressure. From acting on the cylinder when the piston bottoms out. Figure 23 53 show the power steering box, adapter shield with the piston, piston, cylinder, power rack, pitman shaft, bell nut, worm shaft, steering wheel, reservoir, bypass valve, 11 piston, cylinder, piston, 13 piston rod, 14 piston power rack, 5, 15 power sector, 16 piston arm, 17 piston pitman shaft, 18 um, steering sectors, 19 steering worm, 20, 20 valve spool, 21 steering shaft, 22 pump, 23 oil fuel. Flow 24 piston sh- shaft selector gauge gear 25 fluid in 26 rack pick, pinion, piston nut 27 control valve and 28 fluid in. Figure 54 shows the hydraulic cylinder, the po- one port, two the pitman stud, three the return line fitting of the four, the pressure of the five the control valve assembly, six the power sim- cylinder, and seven the piston rod, and nine eight the piston. Power steering system, three types of the power systems are in linkage, integral, and semi integral. Linkage of the control valve power cylinder may separate the parts and bound the different parts of the linkage. Figure 55. 55, the linkage system, tie rod power cylinder, control valve with the four vein type pump with assembly reservoir, left turn pressure, fluid, return line, pressure line, and right turn pressure. Are your integral control valve power system that incorporated with the unit in steer gauge 50, figure 56? The 56 integral system, then pumping with the oil reserve metering steering gear.
Semi-intake with a control valve with the mounted with the steering gear with a semi-hydraulic cylinder mounted in the linkage figure 57. 57, the semi-integral system, power cylinder 1, 2, manual steering gear, and 3, system in semi-integral. Our troubleshooting and power system, uh, power system and learning event presents the next job the situation required with the troubleshooting disable the steering system in each situation. Uh, you are Sergeant East asked for the E5, ES to design the company 88, the Engineering Battalion Direct Support Main Platoon, Fort Wilson, Kansas. Equipment is the model JD410 with tractor wheel load, loader backhoe. You will do you with the DA form 204. Equipment of the inspection maintenance worksheet with the troubleshoot the guy with the TM5242022214P1. The safety is always the prime concern. Situation 1. Supervisor the task varied the defense, um, defense, deficiency with the report of the DAD 410 with identified probable cause of the DA form 2404 figure 58 with the troubleshooting guide TM 524201414 one table 6 solution you review the DA form 2404 with the see the safe the tractor does not respond with the steering wheel to turn slowly to verify the problem the tractor slowly operating the wheel both left and right slowly turn the shear of the find that there is no response to either direction for the troubleshooting guide find that there are five possible cause of the malfunction you eliminate the malfunction you do not apply the next beginning with the term the most probable call with eliminating error for the easiest to check. Figure 6 of the troubleshooting guide. Figure, uh, figure 58 the 240 form 2404. Situation 2. With the check of the oil level, the hydraulic breath wire steering oil, 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 other hydraulic components incorporated the transmission JD 410 with the tractor check of the hydraulic fluid to start of the engine with the run in the 2 3 minutes to fill. I'll circle the check of the oil level, the figure 59. Tractor must open uh, beyond level the ground, the back of the transportation, transport position, prep bomb. Um, Put the range in the shift level of the park and put the shift level in the neutral engine gauge with the check clutch of the flow, fluid level that should be between the high and low marks on the dipstick, preferably one quarter inch below the high mark. Figure 9, show the transmission dipstick and the filler cap. Solution 2, check the hydraulic fluid level for my, um, and find it whether the prefer, prefer, preferred range the, um, eliminates low hydraulic fuel problem to cause the malfunction. Section situation three. Check the line of the filter. Filter field. Um, first, inspect the hose of the line of filtering. Leak of the damage the deterioration. Next, remove the transmission hydraulic system oil filter. Cover the pull out the rubber packing the filter element. Figure sixty. Install the new element and gasket. Install the new gasket. Group the transmission gear. Be sure the gasket is fully seated. Install the new filter element. Replace the filter cover. Tighten the filter cover. With the retaining cap. With the screw. The fifty-five pounds of torque. Um, Return the engine to the two or three minutes to fill the circle to check the old up with the tractor on level the ground. The engine running at the slow idle loader should be lowered in the back of the transportation position. The, put the range in the shift level and park and put the gear in the shift level the neutral and engage the clutch. After you check the old level to turn the steering wheel slowly, see if there's any response that probably still exists. Solution three, you find that the steering of the hydraulic lines are good shape. The next shift of the transmission hydraulic filter to be sure of the clogged lines. After the determine the filter is not leaking, remove the insult of the new filter element gasket. Install the filter element cover over the torque of the filter cover the pertaining cap the screw with the 55 foot pounds of torque after you install the new filter element check the fluid level to the steering and the fill the malfunctioning Figure 60, transmission hydraulic slim system filter. Um, situation 4, check with the well, there four dirt system the sense, uh, dirt in the system. Since you have to just removed the transmission hydraulic filter, you found it to be clean. Your next step is to fill, um, call with the fi using you the maintenance supervisor to find out what the oil is last changed. No, this will save the time of the materials where you have the use of the drain system to install the new oil, the maintenance supply of the table, the descending with the tractor of the field, and if the use of the unit chain with the hydraulic oil with the triangle to determine the cover of the malfunction. Solution 4. After talking to the unit of the maintenance, the supervisor finds that the hydraulic fluid has been smith changed. Eliminate this item to the probable cause of the malfunction. Situation 5. Check with the hydraulic pump and the pressure, but locate the pump trap taps. The figure is 1. Caution. Make it before the check and the relieve the pressure from the top of the engine with the turning of the steering wheel right to left. And the way the engine stops, locate the pressure tap of the hydraulic pump with the roof the tap A. It was a small multi range pressure gave the figure 262 with the start of the engine running at the 11, uh, 1,250 hour band with the observer the pressure gauge reading the reading should be between 200, 2,300 and 24. 400 psi standard air standard by pressure. Taking the pressure reading, stop the engage the and stop the engine. Remove the multi engine multi range gauge and step the install the tap plug. <laughs> Solution 5. Take up the hydraulic pump pressure reading of the finding of the head steady pressure of 2,378 psi and indicate the pump to function properly that the problem must be in another area of the system. <coughs> Figure 61 hydraulic pressure tab the one of the um the uh, one pressure tab uh, outlet pressure tab the inlet pressure tab. Figure 62 multiple range pressure gauge. Situation six has, um you have now eliminated all two possible uh, you have all but two possible malfunctions. The two main possible involve the internal parts of the steering control pump valve that should be troubled to be um gear gear rated, gear to wear sleeve at the spool. Without this point, the safely assume that the problem lies with the steering control valve. 
Solution 6. Um, you tell the supervisor the problem exists within the steering control valve, but you supervisor decides to replace the steering, steering control valve with a new one rather than repairing the old one. You new task to replace with the steering control valve. Learning Event 3. Alright, learning event three, replacing the steering control valve. Learning the event with the replace the two job situation required the replace the steering, steering control valve situation. The supervisor told you to replace the steering control valve. Learning two, the first of the action with the contact supply personnel to be sure that the necessary replacement are on hand. If they're not, order the parts you need to get the parts of the pull, the tr and pull the tr put the tracker in a location where you can work with the in without interference. First, you must remove the inoperative steering control valve. Warning, when working in any portion of the hydraulic system, remember the escape of the fluids and forth the penetrate with the skin and cause serious personal injury. If you're injured by escape of the fluid, it does see a doctor at one C, the See that serious infection reaction develops into if you don't get proper medical immediate tra tra um, immediately. Before disconnecting any of the lines, relieve all the pressure systems, shut off the engine, turn off the steering wheel right to left to make sure all the connections are tight, and then all the lines for the pipe don't hope to not damage you the piece of the wood and cardboard, not your hands. Just start search the suspected leaks, remove the necessary components to get access for the control valve at the beginning with the floor panel. Step one: disconnect the batteries. The batteries must be disconnected because of electrical wires. Remove the remove the dash. This caution: disconnect the batteries will, will avoid the electrical burns or even the damage. Equipment that will working around the electrical system. The barriers are located on the left floor of the panel. The first connect the negative of the ground with the positive of the cable. The lay of the cables aside with the connect of the ba and make contact with the battery terminals. Cannot make contact with the battery terminals. Since your band will be working in air on the left of the floor floor panel, play for the panel back in the position. Do not bolt it down. Step two: remove the steering wheel. First, remove the steering wheel and bolt the O-ring of the nut with the washer. Figure six three. Now lift the um, steering wheel with the floor, from the steering column. You have at the tap of the bolt with the wheel with the rubber of the hammer to break it free with the if the wheel. Still will not break free of the penetrating oil with the steering column the steering wheel, and again with the try to break it loose. If it does not work, attach the wheel, pull the steering wheel, and remove it. 63 seal the steering wheel, remove the embellable embe steering wheel, O ring, not special, um, four special, washer special, five wheel steering. Step three, remove the cowl cover of the first room of the three screw with the screw in the dash pan with the cowl cover the figure sixty four to determine the dash pan with the side with the slide with the inside of the cover with the cowl with the cover now slide up over the dash pan with the do not remove the wires or task engage mount with the dash cover there after the position of the dash install the with the cowl cover to remove the four bolts secure with the rear of the cowl cover to the cowl support figure sixty four cowl cowl and dash. Remove the reverse level of the side of the cover open again for the bend with the reverse level of the lock of it and remove the spring roll pin with the reverse level that can be raised and remove the cowl cover the figure 65 the disconnect with the wire running with the hour meter with the left side of the cover that slowly raise the collar cover over the steering column the lift the collar cover over the steering column and place it out of the work area. Figure 65 show the control of reverse rather than lever the knob, the lever the transmission control with the lever the um, neutral pin with the spring with the 3 16th and a quarter, one and a quarter inch washer special spring washer 1 6 17 32 inch by 13 62 inch and at 0 0.8 zero uh, inches pin and spring with the 3 16 with the 3 quarter inch pin cotter with the 3 5 32 an inch by 1 inch bob bushing of the washer 3 64 inch 7 8 of an inch and 0 um, 7.75 inch arm control pin spring with 3 16 of an inch 5 8 of an inch. Step 4. Raise the steering column with the top of the steering control valve. Loosen the four U-bolt. Remove the bolt holding of the steering column and the steering control valve. Allow, allow the figure 66. Lift the steering column away from the steering control valve to secure the cowl support. Step 5. Remove the power steering oil line. With the, remove the rear of the steering control valve. Figure 67 and 68. Remove the, um, note that mark all the lines. Ensure the proper insulation. Putting in the new steering control valve. Though after removing the oil line, slide of the steering control valve. Forward under the end of the steering valve and support and lifting it in from the machine. Solution one. Um, you should have started with the repair job. The turning of the steering of the wheel with the right to left. The relieve the hydraulic pressure of the of the steering system. Once you relieve the pressure, remove the necessary component to display for the work axis of the steering control valve. Remove the steering control valve. The strength of the supervisor to replace the steering control valve rather than repairing it. Proceed to session station two of the new steering control valve. Situation two: They remove the old steering control valve. Must now install the new one. Proceed with the installment of the control valve. Reverse remove the procedure. After installing the control valve, close the check the hydraulic lines and fitting to ensure that they are not leaking. Warning: Pressure and jolt injuries can occur with the check of the hydraulic lines. Fitting with no leaking with the test with the see if the, if the installing the new steering with the control valve to solve the steering malfunction. Do not install the cowl cover until you have checked the lines and fitting and tested the steering. At this point, you can start um, putting the remaining components back back on the tractor following these steps. Step one: Slide the control valve then the steering. Steering valve support will be sure of the hole with the power steering oil, oil lines are forward and toward the front of the tractor. Or once the steering control valve is support the install of the power steering oil line, figure 67 to 68. This is situation one, step five is marked with the line with the proper position of the new valve.
valve. Powers the, um, power steering valve with the return la valve line with the accumulating hose of the elbow. The O ring valve is track with the valve steering re return of the bushing reduce the elbow, the clamp, and the hose hydra hydraulic. Power steering cylinder oil line. Screw cap elbow O ring line, st line, line steering left, the steering pipe, the um, clamp, the washer lock with nut and bracket line steering right. Screw them 3 eighths of an inch and one, one, one quarter inch. Step two, install the com steering column with the steering control valve aligned with the hole with the steering column with all the top of the steering control valve figure 66. Install the tighten bolt figure 65 to tighten the U bolt connect with the battery cables. Step three, at this point, check with the leak with the instrument that's steering with the function properly start with the tractor. Note that the dash panel is hanging loose. They check with the leak of the points where the line with the disconnect plate for the steering wheel on the steering column with the turn of the wheel to the right left. Ensure that the function properly once again. Check with the power steering the oil lines to ensure that do not leak under the additional pressure of the everything function properly. Remove the steering wheel and reassemble the tractor. Step four, install the column with the cover with the lifting over the steering column, sliding it down over the steering column, the dash panel slowly over the cover over the net far enough to come control connect with the wire of the hour meter to the left side of the cowl cover the continue below the cover far enough to get the reverse level then install the spring roll pin with the screw of the reverse level of the figure 65 view that lower the cowl cover there over the cover will support ensure that the fit of the cowl bumper figure 64 students then install the tighten and the bolt step 5 dash, lift the dash back through the cowl cover check to ensure all the wires are connected then play with the dash panel within position install the tightening of the screw of the figure 64 so six, play with the steering wheel and the steering wheel column figures to three, play with the washer over the extending, extruding end of the steering column, play with the nuts on the thread, extending the end of the steering column, the torque nut with the 50 pounds of torque, place the embellum on the top of the steering wheel, well, wheel and press it into position, step with seven, connect the battery, tighten the terminal, positive the cable, the one positive with the battery, turn the terminal to the negative ground cable, the negative pole with the position, the floor panel, tighten the pole and start the tractor, ensure the steering functions properly. Solution two, you have installed the steering control valve, replay with the other components that select the location to ensure the steering of the system will function properly. In step three, you found that all the work areas will work properly so the reassemble of the tractor and that was the reading of uh let me just all right and that was the reading of um that was your u.s engine army u.s army engineering school engineering construction equipment steering systems